What's up, gold diggers? Kimberly Olson here, coming in live. I'm just gonna give myself a second here to tag myself in a video real quick. So I'm gonna give you guys a moment, pop on. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Let's just wait and see when this is happening. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for hopping on. Um, let me see if I go back. So I'm Kimberly Olson, obviously the gold digger girl. Go ahead and put one in the comments. If you're watching this live, I see some live viewers hopping on. Hope my internet's okay today. We had a little craziness the other day. Okay, so put a one in the comments if you're watching this live. Put two if you're watching the replay. Put new, if you're new, welcome to my trainings. Every time I do a Facebook Live, I see some new people on it and it just warms my heart to see some new people. I just, it just makes my day. So put new in the comments and if you share this, you're on my good list because that means you care about other people. So if you share this, you wanna put share it in the comments for sure and then I recommend tagging your team because if you tag them or there's a spot on the video to invite them to watch it, they will actually get a notification. So that way you can make sure that they see it, which is awesome. And then I'm sporting the Gold Digger shirt. You guys can see it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Um, my goal is to get some gear on my website because I think it's fun. It just makes you happy when you have Boss Babe or Gold Digger or whatever on your shirt. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna talk about list building. So I did a poll today and we the, the people that won, uh, more people voted for a list building, however, the other topic was onboarding or launching or relaunching your business. I'm gonna cover that tonight in my podcast, okay? So I will also be covering the other topic that I put out there today. So if you were the one that voted for onboarding, how do you get your team up and running? How do you duplicate? I'm gonna cover that in my pod podcast. It is on iTunes. It's called the Gold Digger Girls Podcast. Surprise, surprise. So <laughs> I'll probably put a link in here tomorrow, but I'm gonna record that tonight. It's also gonna stream live on Instagram and YouTube. So if you're following me on those pages, those places, you can go watch it tonight, okay? Do a little binge binge uh, training today. So anyways, thanks for hopping on guys. So if you are like most people, when you start out with network marketing and you blow through your warm market, you're just like, now what? Okay, I remember being there and I just didn't know who, who to reach out to and everybody kept saying, build online, build online. And I was like, I don't know how to build online, okay? So you have to teach your teams this, teams this as well, but you have to proactively add to your list every single day. We're gonna go over hot, warm, and cold market. Um, and next week we're gonna go over what to do with those people. But with proactively list building, you guys, think of it as your bank account, okay? Think of it as your bank account. The more people you have on your list, the more money you can make. So you wanna make list building a priority. I add to my list every single day. Monday through Sunday, always, 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 okay? So let's go through the different topics here and I'm gonna give you guys ideas for how to add to your list. If you don't have a place right now where you everything is written down in one spot, that's your homework assignment. You need to get a system. I don't care if it's a notebook. I don't care if you write it um, in the notepad app on your phone, but I want them all in one place because too many times people have some people um, on a list on a piece of paper, then they have some on Excel, and then they have Facebook messages going on, right? We have to be organized to be efficient. And that's one of the reasons why I do the boot camps and stuff is to help you guys be organized. Okay, so first category is the hot category. Okay, this is people like your mom. Okay, we have Mother's Day coming up, so get, get on it if your mom needs to order. Um, your coworkers. So current coworkers would be hot market, people that you're seeing every day, right? Um, also, um, so maybe your sister. So people that you come in contact all the time. They're people that you run into at a party. They're people that you work with. They are the parents of your kids when you drop off at school that you see them all the time, right? They're um, the parents at the soccer team. There's a lot of sports that everybody's doing right now. So they're those people that you see all the time. Okay, that is your hot list. You are going to want to exhaust this list before moving to the warm market. I see this a lot with new people. They're very afraid of this. And I'm gonna to talk tonight on the podcast about the first step as far as how to reach out to people. You've gotta do it, okay? Just suck it up and do it, okay? Most of them are gonna say no. Now, when you're new, you're like, what? My sister's gonna say no? Yes, it's just the nature of it, you guys. It's, they've known you since you were a kid, right? It's hard for them, I don't wanna say it's hard for them to take you serious, but 
it's just sort of like, okay, what is she up to now, right? Maybe not for all of you, but just be prepared. Your hot market at first is often a no. However, with learning how to follow up with people, which we can do another training on that, um, you when you expose them several times, most of them come around. However, not at, not at first. You just gotta get it out of the way, okay? Just get it done. They are your hot market. And even if they say no, they can lead you to a yes, right? So don't forget your hot market. Next is your warm market. So what I want you to do is I want you to pull up your cell phone and if you go into the contacts and scroll all the way down, you know how it says like A through Z? If you scroll all the way down at the bottom, it's gonna tell you a number. Mine is over a thousand people are in my cell phone, just over a thousand. That's your, that's your warm market because these are people you've probably lost contact with, right? You know them, but it's been a while, okay? That's your warm market. Um, also, old friends, so high school and college or coworkers that you used to work with are great examples of warm market. So you know each other, but it, not, it hasn't been recent, right? So that's gonna be your warm market. Also, this is a, a huge tip, you guys. Um, hot market connections. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this list and you're gonna go, okay, who does my mom hang out with that I kind of know? Okay, well, my mom plays bridge, so all of her bridge lady friends. My sister, okay, who does my sister work with? Who did my sister go to college with? Uh, my coworkers, what about my coworker's spouse? My coworker's sister, right? That's taking your hot market and turning it into some warm market. If you have a connection through the hot market, they are now a warm market, which is really, really cool. Okay, cold market. Can you guys see the cold market okay? I think you can. Okay, so cold market is gonna be new Facebook friends. Oh yeah, you guys can see. Okay, oh, sorry about the different colors. It's not matching. So if you're type A, you might not like that. Okay, new Facebook friends. Every day you should be adding 10 to 20 new friends a day. Um, I did a training on this a couple weeks ago, so make sure you do the, oh, Facebook jail. Go watch the Facebook jail one to make sure you're doing it the right way. 10 to 20 a day. If you don't have my daily activity tracker, all you have to do is go to thegolddiggergirl.com and a pop-up comes up. Fill in your information and you can download it. Then that's gonna show you on the tracker how to add people every day. And then this is really cool. You might not have known this. Your cold market leads are anybody who comments, shares, reacts, likes your post, your Facebook lives, and or if they view your Facebook stories. You might not know this as well. In your Facebook stories, which you should be doing those every day, in the bottom left-hand corner, it tells you how many people viewed your story. Um, those people are all leads, every single one of them. If you don't know them, they go in the cold market category. Those people are all leads. If you get the notification that it's, you know, these 10 people's birthdays today, and you look at those people and you don't know them, those are cold leads. The birthday gives you an in. You can message them and reach out to them. I, I connect with people all the time and I love it because they're people I have friends, I'm friends with on Facebook that I don't know because we have mutual friends or they friended me and the birthday message allows me to take a look at their profile, find something in common, reach out and get to know them and make sure we should stay friends. There are times when I'm like, oh, this, this is not somebody who I wanna be my friend, right? We just, we don't have a lot in common um, or we don't believe the same things, but the, that's a way to touch all your friends in a year. So I do that every single day. And then this is a really neat, a really neat way to get some more leads is through Facebook groups. So some of you probably heard me talk about this, but I shared this kind of fun boss babe post in a, an entrepreneurial group. I think it was women entrepreneurs and I got 65 comments on it. So I went through and fronted all of them, not all, not all at once over several days. And then I reached out to them and I just said, hey, I saw you comment on my post, you know, isn't that fun? Um, what do you do? Cause they're all entrepreneurs, which is my target market, right? And so I just made 65 new friends from one post in a Facebook group. So Facebook groups, don't just spam it, add value, right? Hang out in the Facebook group. I do have a training on that as well as how to maximize Facebook groups. But that can be an awesome way to get more leads. So as you guys can see, if you do this, you have so many leads. If you add 20 new friends a day, let's just say you add 10 new friends a day. That's 3,650 new friends, new leads on Facebook in a year. 
Like you guys, that's freaking insane. You would never run out of people. There's 2 billion people on Facebook. Like you're not gonna run out. So if you do this every day and teach your team how to do this, you'll never get anyone saying that they they don't know anybody because that's what happened. People will say, oh, I don't know anybody. I ran out of people and all that good stuff, okay? So next week, we're gonna talk about what to do with these leads, okay? So that'll be our training next week, Thursday. And then um, I do have an Instagram workshop that just opened up. It's gonna be April, no, wrong month. May 29th is a Tuesday night at 8.30 p.m. It'll be recorded if you can't make it. Just put Instagram in the comments. Um, I've been studying Instagram and growing my account and I have like 8,000 some on there. So I, my goal is to get to 10,000 hopefully before the training because there's a lot more you can do on Facebook. You can put your link, which you can never do. You can put your link in your stories. You can do all this stuff. Um, but you can actually use it as a recruiting tool, right? And you can do all this stuff right on Instagram. And it's helpful because if something happens to you, like I was in Facebook jail and I couldn't, if you guys didn't know that, I really was in Facebook jail. I couldn't even comment on stuff. I couldn't like my posts, my own posts. I couldn't like them or comment. I at least have Instagram to fall back onto. And I have an email list too, um, which I'm teaching in my branding boot camp, by the way. So if you guys um, are wanting to do branding and learn how to monetize your your brand then just put branding boot camp in the comments and i'll get you the link it starts next week but i teach people about that how do you make an email list because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket you just don't to, um this morning someone i know she said that she got locked out of her instagram account she got back in but she couldn't even get on on her phone at all okay this is reality it happens so diversifying yourself you don't want to be all over the place and be like ah uh, you know you need to master each platform um, but I encourage you Instagram's a great add-on to Facebook because you can repurpose your content really easy and it's super simple right you just post a picture and write some words it's not a big deal so Instagram workshop I'm gonna teach you all my secrets so just put Instagram in the comments and I'll get you guys the link for that and then I'm gonna head over to YouTube if you don't know I have a YouTube channel the link is in my bio um, on my personal page right if you scroll down it says Insta or it says, um, actually maybe it doesn't say YouTube. I'll have to check on that. So it's the gold digger girl if you want to find it. Um, or you can watch me on Instagram. I'm going to go talk about onboarding and launching and duplication over on YouTube. And I'm going to do that live. So thanks for watching you guys. And thanks for all the kind things that everybody said today. I had kind of a rough morning with some naughty people out there being negative, um, which it was totally, it's just kind of crazy, but I got so many kind words and positive things that were said that it just made me feel like a million bucks. So I appreciate each and every one of you. I know your time is valuable. There's so many people that you can choose to follow and it means a lot to me that you show up and, and you're here. So I want you to know that I really appreciate it. So that's what I have for you guys Saturday, Mother's Day Sunday. So we're gonna do Rockstar Mom on Saturday. We're gonna talk about uh, being, a, being a mom and uh, juggling 50,000 things. So I'll see you guys Saturday. Um, I don't know what time yet, I'll post that. I'll see you guys later. Have a great night. Bye.